Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Start Menu and Cortana are not working on your Windows 10 device. So this should hopefully be a fairly quick and straightforward tutorial for you guys, and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by going down to the taskbar. So the taskbar, if you're unaware, is basically a long rectangular part of the screen. It's either going to be at the bottom, on the right, on the left, or on the top of your screen. Most people, it's going to be on the bottom, and you want to right-click on a blank spot on it, and you want to left-click on Task Manager. If Task Manager looks like this, you want to left-click on the More Details button right down here with the downward-facing arrow. And now that a review looks like this, you want to left-click on the File tab, left-click on Run New Task. Underneath Open, you want to type in Explore, and then click on OK. I'm going to minimize Explore right now, or File Explorer. And now I'm going to go back in the Task Manager, left-click File, left-click Run New Task. This time I'm going to type in CMD, just the letter CMD, three letters. And you want to check mark inside this box that says Create this task with administrative privileges. Click on OK. So I'm going to minimize out of these windows and I'm going to go back open up the File Explorer one that we had. Basically just looks like a little desk organizer with a file on it if you're unaware. And now you want to left click on this PC on the left side here. You want to take note of whatever drive Windows is installed on. So you might have multiple devices and drives listed down here. However, there should only be one that has a Windows icon over the hard drive. And it should also say local disk more than likely. In my case, and most people, it should say the C drive or C colon here. You want to take note of that. That's very important for what we're going to be going on in a couple seconds here that we're going to be jumping into. So just take note of that. And I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to open up the command prompt that we opened up through Task Manager a couple seconds ago as well. And I'm going to type in CHK, DSK, space. Now I'm going to type in, depending on whatever your drive letter is, in my case, like I said, it's a C drive. So I'm going to type the letter C, colon, space, forward slash F. So again, CHK, DSK, space, now you want to type the letter C or whatever your drive letter is, colon, another space, forward slash F. And then once you have it as it appears on my screen exactly, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. This will take a couple seconds. And please note that if you are currently using your Windows operating system, which everybody is, you will not be able to run this scan while the computer is on. So you're going to have to type the letter Y on your keyboard to just the letter Y. You don't have to spell W-H-Y, just the letter Y. And then hit Enter. It'll say this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So at this point, I recommend closing out of any windows or programs you might still have open on your computer. Restart your device and let the scan run. Now, if that does not work for you, and unfortunately, you're kind of back to where you were before, do not worry, we're going to go over another method on how to hopefully resolve that. So let's say we've restarted our computer, we're back to square one, we're going to go back to our taskbar, right-clicking on it again, left-click on Task Manager, this time go back up to File, left-click on Run New Task, again, open, you want to make sure it says CMD in here, and check mark where it says create this task with administrative privileges. Click on OK. Now this time we're going to type in something a little bit different. It's going to be SFC, so the letters SFC, space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word here, and this forward slash should be attached to it. Scan now, there are also two ends in here as well. Just be aware of that. It's not just one end between both the scan and the now. Another way to look at it is they're not sharing any letters, so that helps at all. So again, just SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin a system scan. It will take some time. So let the computer restart once it's finished. And hopefully when your computer restarts, your star menu and Cortana should be back up and running. This tutorial does not necessarily cover if Cortana is disabled. That's not really what this video is about. This is if Cortana is now working on your computer. 
I want to make that really clear because some people are going to misunderstand that. But if you or somebody else has turned off Cortana, like the feature, th this tutorial is not really for you. This is if you the Cortana system files have been corrupted and we are restoring them. So that's pretty much where we're at for this video. I just wanted to put that out there as a closing remark. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Goodbye.